What I was going to do now is I'm going to install the electric um, wiper door actuator kit that I bought off of eBay. I already started on it and I thought, geez, I should be videotaping this. So I'm sorry. I'm kind of starting after I got started here. But let me show you what I got done so far. Um, basically, all that I got done is I mounted this bracket to the firewall. There's two fender washers go behind it to space out because of this piece here. And then I mounted the motor to it. And next thing I'm doing is I'm running the wiring. Uh, it comes with its own wiring harness here. Everything is completely, I mean, it's very well done. I'm very impressed with it so far. If it works as good as it looks, I'll be really happy. But anyway, for the vacuum switch over here that hits this wiper arm, I'm replacing it with this micro switch, which came with the kit. Everything comes with a kit. Uh, the only stuff that doesn't come with the kit is the stuff that's already on the car, like this bracket here. I'm reusing that bracket, stuff like that. But otherwise, it's a pretty complete kit. It's, um, it looks really nice. Uh, it's very, uh, very well put together and everything. We'll, so, so we'll see how it works. So anyway, let me get the camera reset, and uh, I'll go ahead and we'll start putting this micro switch in. Okay, so i got to route this wire up through here and hook into these two terminals here. Got a screwdriver. There we go. Now, since this is just a micro switch, there's no polarity to these wires. You hook it to either side, but uh, it goes in these upper terminals. These switches can be normally open or normally closed, so this is normally. Um, I believe it's normally open switch. Okay, and then there was a rubber grommet that seals it off here that goes back up in place and just snaps in place. And then a cover back on that. Okay, so I found a screw I got to put on there, so now we can put this down in place. It goes down on the studs there. What I'll do, I'm trying to get down in there with this nut so I don't lose it down inside my fender. Take a little piece of masking tape and put on it. That makes it tight in the uh, socket, so I hope it won't fall out until I get it tightened down in there. Okay, that's one. A little bit of an angle, so I got to put a swivel on there so it'll kind of. Start down on there without falling off. Okay, so I got them both started. I'll get rid of that tape. Yeah, stop having big fingers. Can't get down in there. See, that's missing that completely. I gotta just want to bend that down a little bit or something. Okay, if you want that. That's pretty tough. Okay, that's about perfect. It's hitting right on the center of the roller. It sounds like I need to raise that though because it doesn't click until right there. I'm like, oh, but when it's just free, it's not engaged. So I'm going to have to loosen these two bolts here and raise that up so that when it's sitting just where it's sitting here, it needs to be depressing that um, micro switch. I discovered there. Now that's locking down. 
Okay, I've cleaned up my wiper bay area and um, I sprayed it with uh, Rust-Oleum uh, truck bed liner to kind of finish it off. And then I, I, took, I took all my mechanisms apart and uh, cleaned them, wire brushed them up good and I sprayed them with silver paint there and I repainted the, uh, the arms with black paint. And then I greased everything up when I put it back together so it should be about like new again. The, um, the car, when I bought it, it didn't have wiper arms on it or wiper blades, so I had to buy those. I, I, uh, I got those now to put on, but I want to get the, uh, the wiper door assembly finished. Uh, I'm putting the electronic wiper door um, actuator on it instead of the vacuum, and I have to get it wired up, and then it'll, when the first time you turn on it, it cycles itself and sets itself where it needs to be and then you can hook your arm to everything else so it, the door opens and closes properly so once i do that because because when you turn on the course the wiper motor can start running and i don't want my blades flopping and hitting uh, uh, until i get them adjusted so i'm going to leave them off until i get the door done and then i will put the wiper blades on and set those so anyway that's where i'm at so far on that part of it Okay, I've got the uh, wiper door installed with the electric wiper uh, actuator on it, and it works really good. I'm very impressed with it. Uh, I got that on eBay. Um, it was quite a bit cheaper than the ones that you can get from like Eckler's or other places. So I was a little skeptical, but uh, it seems to work great. My next thing I'll see is is how long it, it lasts, how long it holds up. So we'll see, but I got all the, but you can't really see much in there. I've got the, uh, there's the uh, wiper switch. It replaces that vacuum switch with electronic uh, micro switch. Uh, I got the wiper arms in. I got everything installed. I got the door in. That was kind of a trick getting back in line. Okay, I've got it all set up now. Now I'm gonna show you how it operates. Uh, this is the electric actuator here, replaces the vacuum canister and all the vacuum lines. Um, so what you'll see is you'll see this arm move and it'll open the door and this this arm here will start moving the same time this one does but it doesn't hit this switch till the door is all the way open and the, the wipers can't move until that switch is, is depressed so it's kind of a safety feature and and that's that's standard that's original so whether you have electric here or vacuum this still has to be there and it has to do its job otherwise when the door opens, if for some reason the door wouldn't open all the way or wouldn't open at all, the wiper blades would still go and you could damage the wiper blades or the wiper motor. Um, so you don't want that. So it, it's, a, it's a safety feature. It's a really good design uh, and, it, and it works well when it works. So let me, uh, I'm going to wet the windshield down so you can uh, see the wiper blades move freely without chattering or bouncing around or anything. And... Um, so I'll go in and activate the switch, but watch when I activate the switch, you'll see this arm move and that arm start moving at the same time, but the wipers won't go until this is completely depressed. Hopefully. <laughs> That's what it's supposed to do anyway. Okay, I'm really happy with the way this is working. Uh, I'm just kind of anxious to see how well this, this lasts, how well it holds up. Uh, hopefully it'll last a long time. The, the good thing is you don't, you don't use your wipers a whole lot. I don't anyway. If it looks like it's gonna rain or it's raining, I don't take the car out. And there's been a few times I got caught in the rain. So it's not something you're gonna use every day, but you need it to work when you need it. So. Uh, well, I'll, I'll keep you posted on how well it holds up and how many times I have to use it. So uh, that, that's, that's the operation of it.